Yeah, welcome to this very basic training of Stardraw AW. I want to show you today how you can simply connect and draw um, very simple block diagrams. Or block schematics is the correct English word. I'm sorry, I'm basically a German speaker, but I'm doing this here in English. Okay, when we start a new project, we have the possibility to choose between these four layouts. In this uh, tutorial, we choose the block schematic. In this block schematic, you can easily draw um, block schematics. <laughs> okay, here we have um, three types of library. This is the my library. These are my personal stuff where I can find products. This is the offline library where you can synchronize between the online and the offline library. So when your subscription times out, you can still have all the symbols available here in the offline library. When your subscription is timed out, you cannot access the online libraries here. So for a very basic system, we have a look in the online libraries. Here we will look for a Geffen product. So we can scroll down, say here, it's Geffen Incorporated. There we have the DVI extenders, uh, not the switchers. So we choose this 8 to 1 DVI switcher. We just drag and drop this here. Now we have it here. So we also want to add a generic computer here, a desktop computer. We will find it under generic. You can see components, computers, hardware, instrument, symbols. So we just use the computer here. Um, then we will pick up a DVD player, for example, from Denon. Here they have Blu ray players. We take this one here and maybe another one. And this one here, okay. So we can use this button here to zoom into our drawing, then it gets centered. Um, we have here this basic uh, toolbox. Mostly we are using here um, the first, the position and the positioning tool. This is for moving the blocks around. This one is for changing the connectors. And these are the connectors we use. We call this dog legs. Okay, so we want to line up these symbols here. I do this with the keyboard just a little bit to the left. Same here. And I can take this one here and move it somewhere here. So the very easy step here is use the dock leg tool and then you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and see, okay, this is the monitor output, the COM port, the parallel port. So we want to connect our monitor output and it's very important when you connect with the dock leg, do not click here and do it like that because it is now not connected here. I can show you that. And you use it here and you move it around, it's not connected. So we need to really connect it. Then we can use the second tool here, this here for um, Knoten bearbeiten. I don't know the word in English at the moment. So we can use it here. And then we see here are the connectors I can grab. I can move this line around or I can move this here up and down or I can just use this part here and connect it to the red line where the red line and the purple line connects there I have to connect the line so if I now take the thing here you can see the connected line is also moving this is a basic step which normally everyone does wrong also I did it wrong when I first played around with the software so I can do this here too. Here I have a HDMI output. I connect it here and I can also do that here. Now you see the first problem. The lines are do not line up correctly. It's not looking so beautiful. So I take my tool here and say, okay, let's move this here. And normally I do two dots distance here. And I also put this here in that distance. So these are all um, audio line, uh, video lines for me. So I want to move them to the correct layer. So I simply mark the line, go here to the layers part and select here video circuit paths. 
and I can also change the color to blue for example so we do the same here be your circuit paths and blue and we do it on top be your circuit paths and blue okay now we can roll out a little bit um, when we want to connect another one we can also have it a little bit more simpler use this tool here move it back here I can um, you can see when I click in the free space also the the video circuit path and the blue color is already selected so I just click on my dog leg say here again it's this output so I just connect this here and you see it's a blue line and it's on the video circuit paths so normally you first put all your parts on the desktop and then you move the blue lines around and say okay now I draw the video lines then the audio lines then the network lines the power cords whatever so this is also not looking very good I move this here okay so I have here very basic drawing very simple um, when I want to have a, a box around it to make it look a little bit more beautiful then in the my libraries you have the title blocks there are your basic title blocks US paper sizing or metric paper sizes so I can just use a A4 portrait move it in and as you can see yeah, it would fit in this case but when I want it a little bit smaller then I just use the right tool here click on the file and then I go here to scale symbols options scale symbols and you can see there is a check it's checked now and then I can take it on one edge press and hold the shift key then it is um, zoomed in the correct position and you can see I can now adjust the size and say okay it's better that way move it a little bit down so okay it looks good to me now I turn off the scale symbols and if I want to change the properties which are in here I can just do a double click and here you can see the attributes these attributes you can which you have here you can find also here this on the right side is just a dummy this is just text you cannot edit from here but you can add the possibility to do that so you can say okay this has been drawn for the client which is called I don't know mr. mr. hand so man then you can say okay it's the drawing done on the 55 to so 10 it's the drawing number 1.0 and as I enter it here you can see it's changing here on this page it's drawn by me it's SMR issued for maybe this Comtech the scale is not to be scale normally you do not scale really things here it's just to show um, it's just to show that you have the block diagram but it's nothing where you underlay something and say okay we're doing here a great measurement and we check how long the cables are and so on and the title is here it's a demo room so I changed it you see it's also changed here um, if I want to change this one here I cannot really access it here so there is another possibility we have to small lock here on top when we activate that we can access every single component which we see here when we click now here we see oh this is a text box double click then you see this is the content company street state I can delete it let let's say you let the facts here say okay then you simply have the facts here or when you have a, a block schematic here you can just click on one of the ports for example here it a little bit bigger the audio output port I can just click on it and say oh it should not be the audio output port it should be the 
optical no, optical optical link whatever and say okay then don't forget to remove the log again and then it's with a fine it's one symbol and it's great and it's working this is the very basic steps which we can do here um, if you want to do something special we can use this one here this is the cable connector the cable connector is useful when you have um, not just a dog leg which is a line in that direction then up and to the right but if you have to curve around the object then you can use the cable connector just click one time here click one time here then there here down there around here now we can go up here okay it should be this point and here we make a double click that's the end of the line so we move down make this correct here put it a little bit to the left okay and here we have our line which is going around all my symbols here yeah this is the very basic stuff we can do more advanced stuff we have text we can add but this is the basic the, the one with the lock here the scale function and please remember always when you add a title block scale the title block do not scale the symbols themselves because when you scale the symbols then you get in trouble with the with the background raster and they will not fit to the correct lines and it's a little bit tricky to get them back to the lines yo this will be the first part i think of the training um, we can also have here um, let me check this is not activated here um, where is that here we have the view in the view we have the possibility with these buttons to say oh I don't want to see the video circuit paths so then I just deactivate that line and you see all the lines which are um, on the video layer they are removed so you can make one plan with the video lines one plan with the audio lines and one plane with anything else so if I want to have this back I go again um, here to tools view and then we turn on the video circuit paths if you want to have these buttons here then it's just like any other windows tool there is a, a option where you can say own toolboxes and here we have the orders and um, this was the tools let me check where it is I think this is here and here you see we have these functions so we can just drag them here and say okay we make this here and that here this one to there okay great I want to keep that then I can just dog it here and now I have my buttons directly here and can here turn on and off the different layers this is a feature you can use um, normally when I draw plans um, I don't use it my plans are not so very complicated and so big Mo mostly they are small and then I can use it like that okay this is the very basic part um, we continue in the next part thank you very much